Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are back with a different type of Manchester United live match reaction. This time out, we are reacting to the absolute embarrassment, the absolute disgrace that was Brighton for Manchester United and nil at the Amex Stadium. Where do I start, boys? I'll tell you what, before we get into all the negatives, because believe me, there is a lot of them. What I want you guys to do, go down below, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell to start to have all future uploads and streams because trust me, there are some absolute bangers coming your way throughout the month of May. Also, let me know down below, if any, how many of these players deserve to be here next season? That is your question of the video. Go down below, how many players, and I'm sure you'll be able to name them, there's that few, who deserves to stay here next season at Old Trafford? But... Enough of that. Let's get into Manchester United. So as I'm sitting here wearing a shirt from arguably our greatest ever period as a club, it is pretty ironic I'm sitting here talking about a game that guaranteed us our worst ever points tally in history. That's... I, I don't even know what to say, boys. Like, is there, there's a joke like, oh, Man United are bad. Haha. <laughs> this is embarrassing. We go to the Amex Stadium, and no disrespect to Brian, like we've been beaten by teams before this season. Liverpool, City, like we've been beaten a lot, do you know what I mean? Everton, even Watford smashed us. But no disrespect to Brighton. They've been doing wonderful things under Grandpa. And if you were to sit there and say, what's more embarrassing, losing to Brighton or Watford? Obviously it's Watford, but Brighton should not be controlling the game from minute one to minute 90 against Manchester United. Literally, we're getting Olaid. It was a training session. It was men's versus boys. And the fans chanting, you're not fit to wear the shirt. They're bang on. We're not. There is no player. Oh, it looks like there was no player in that lineup that deserved to, or wants to be here. Ronaldo was laughing after one of their goals, saying like, what is this? And you got a feel for him. He's nearly 40 years old in the twilight of his career. Let's be honest. He's not finished, as people are saying. He's clearly shown that this season, by scoring goal after goal after goal after goal. But he's sitting there like, I am doing everything I can to try and just hold this club above water, let alone challenge for anything, let alone get on the boat. Do you know what I mean? Like De Gea as well. Been making save after save after save after save. What more can these players do? Do you know what I mean? And don't even get me started on the board. I just watched Raf's um, conference saying, like, he asked when he came in in the summer, January window, maybe we should look at um, some forwards. He named some. You look at Luis Diaz, a player that, even though he plays for Liverpool, I think is an absolute baller and I'm gutted they got him. You got Alvarez, who we're linked to heavily, but ended up going to City as well. I, I can't say his name, but that Valovic or something who went to Juventus from Florentina. They said no. He didn't give me a reason. They just said no. That right there shows everything. And I'm not going to blame the board for what is obviously on the pitch because the board are ruining the club from the inside, but the players and everything around them are ruining us on the pitch. And I'm sure it will come out now. Oh, I'm sorry we've let you down. We'll go again. Oh, it's not been a season to remember, but we'll go again next year. Stop apologising and do something different. Against Brighton, one of the best performances we've had at Old Trafford in months. 3-0. Comfortable win against a top, top Brentford side who have been getting scalpel after scalpel of big teams. Chelsea most recently. I don't understand how players, who let's be honest, the players we've got are talented players. You've got the Bruno Fernandes. You've got the Mata, the Matic, the Maguire when he came on, the Lindelof, the Rafa, like Ronaldo, Alanga. They're all talented players. They're all playing for Manchester United in the Premier League. They're obviously good players. I don't understand how so many good players can play so, so bad. It's embarrassing, boys. And I'm going to sit here and be like, oh, something's got to change, something's got to change. But what can change? We've got Crystal Palace from the final day of the season, away from home at Selhurst Park. And what does it mean? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like, we go into the game, we win it, we lose it, whatever. We just about might scrape Conference League at this point. And I don't even know, boys. Ten Hag 
because I know he's saying like, oh, I'm my full focus on Ajax because they're only a few wins away. Um, I think was it like three or four games left for them, and they're like four points clear in the title race. He's gonna win the Ajax. He's gonna win the Eurodivisie trophy, right? There's no way he's not keeping up to date with what's going on at United. And when he gets here, Ralph is going to have to fill him with a lot. Because obviously Ralph's staying on for that con consultation role. Ten Hag, if I was Ten Hag, I'd be running a mile that way. Because people are going on about how he's going to turn it around. The expectations for him are already all the way up here when they should be like down here. Next season, we need to focus on trying to get the top four. But people are thinking we need to go for more. And listen, listen, listen. Anyone who says we're Manchester United, we should be fighting for the Prem. We should be fighting for this. Based on what? We are not that same Manchester United that Sir Alex Ferguson retired from. We are not that same Manchester United with those legendary, legendary players. The whole class of 92. The Cantonars. The Roy Keens. I could keep going names. The Roonies. Do you know what I mean? We're not that same team no more. And, yeah, we've got a big name. We've got a big history. But do we have a big future? And that's all that matters right now. Because, to be honest with you, the way it's going, I only see the future going one way. And it's not going up. It's going down, down and down. While Newcastle are getting brought out. Chelsea's just been brought out. Man City's got... Well, they're Man City, aren't they? They're going to have unlimited funds forever. Liverpool's just got clocked down to a new, like, extended deal. You've got Spurs with Conte. How long he'll stay there for, I'm not sure. Arteta and Arsenal, as, as much as I hate to talk about Arsenal, they've got a nice young squad going. Leicester's on the hills, West Ham's on the resurgence. Like, we we, we need to start bucking our ideas up, because otherwise we are not going to be challenging for anything apart from relegation battles or mid-table fights. Because, yes, we've got a big name, but at the end of the day, it only matters what we're doing right now on the pitch. And based on what I saw last night, Honestly, I don't know if it was just because I was tired, fresh off the 24-hour stream. I have never been so disgusted in watching a Man United game. It was pathetic. If they were a better team, no disrespect to Brian, if that was a Liverpool, even a Leicester, to be fair, even a Palace, we're getting done like 5, 6, 7, 8. In that first half, some of the chances they had, that wasn't down to big saves from De Gea. It was from big let-offs from Brian players. Like, Welbeck could have scored, like, 15 on his own. I'm not being funny. A better team absolutely break records in that game last night. They turned up, Brian, being like, right, they're not in the best of form, United, but, you know, it's Man United, they'll give us a decent game. That was so pathetic. It was half assed There is people sitting in the stands that would have gave more. They're obviously not as good players, but they would have gave so much more and would have been a better showing than what I saw on that pitch. Because honestly, that was absolutely pathetic and made me embarrassed to wear this red shirt. But that's it from me, boys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, let me know your thoughts on the game, of course. And like I said at the start, let me know what players or player, I guess, who deserves to be it next season at Old Trafford. But that's it for me, boys. Smash the like and subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you later. Take care and peace.